Hi guys, welcome once again. My name is KNJ the King himself, and I'm welcoming you to DGG, the Daily Gist Gala, showing on Olubori TV every day between the hours of 11 a.m. in the morning and 11 p.m. in the night. You can also do well to kindly visit www.oluboritv.com so as to give you more insight and come to think of it every Saturdays. We're always engaging you, you know, we have a lot of giveaway sessions and also, you know, should I tell you, dramatic sessions and comedy sessions. All right, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you won't be able to miss out when I post new videos. Also try to like this video and subscribe. I love you. My name is KNG, the king himself, your superstar host. Okay, I have a gist for you. We are guess who? I have a gist of Mr. Ibu. You know Mr. Ibu now? Ah, I grew up knowing Mr. Ibu, man. And I actually grew up loving this man. <laughs> Mr. Ibu is um, the fictional father of the duo, Aki and Popo. Yes, he's the fictional father of the duo. All right, so, Mr. Ibu. Mr. Ibu calls out an Hollywood actor who act his social media account. You know, like I said, he's the... Fictional father of the duo, Aki and Popo, <laughs> those two mischievous human beings. <laughs> All right. We don't really know what happened, but you know, for him to have, like, he called the person that like, said, You hack my social media account. You are a holy. T4. Barago. Barago Banza. After being poisoned by his colleague, Nollywood actor, John Okafor, better known as Mr. Ibu, finally recovered his social media account. Hmm. He reveals that the person that hacked his account was arrested by the police yesterday, but saddening to know that it was one of his colleagues in the Nollywood industry. I personally, I mean, KNG the King himself, I would have loved that he tells us the name of the person and shows us the picture. It would have been, ah, but I love bass boots. Violence solves it. Eh? Nothing like calmness. Foulence. Be foulent in your doings. <laughs> the father said the person has confessed to the crime and the investigation is still going ongoing. Let me just take you back back online, back in, on, on day. No. Uh, his wife, yes, asked Nigerians to stop spreading fake rumors about his death. Now, the, the actor had been suffering from an undisclosed illness that had forced him to step away from Nollywood for some time. And then come to think of it, the last time I saw Mr. Ibu, he was looking so, 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 so frail and weak. Yeah, that's, that's the way he was looking. And I couldn't just help but, like, ah, oh God, it is well. Mr. Ibu's wife claimed in the video posted on her Instagram page that her husband's Instagram account had been hacked and that the suspect had been extorting money from some of the actor's friends and colleagues. She also stated that the husband had lost his bank account information and that anyone who wishes to assist the alien actor should contact her or come to the hospital where he's been treated. Hey, hey, hey. I still don't really know why people are doing this. So I don't, I don't really know why people are doing this. The same thing happened to Kenya Folabi too. The same thing happened to Kemia Folabi. Kemia Folabi, who has been diagnosed with lupus for five years. Kemia Folabi is another Nollywood actress. Yeah, now she's an actress, a Nollywood actress. And then the same thing happened to her. She was, no, a lot of things, a lot of things. People started me making use of our predicament to make money. I just don't know why, how people don't think. It's annoying. Like people don't think at all. They started, and she made a video. She was crying in the video that she's not happy with her condition. People should stop doing this. You know, people were posting as came out for lobby and soliciting online. They'll be chatting you up that you should help them with. I don't understand why Nigerians are so desperate. You don't use someone else's element or no downfall to make a standpoint or build a foundation of your own career or happiness. It is wrong. It is what? It is wrong. Very wrong. Yeah, we can see the live video of Mr. Ibo and his wife. Mr. Ibo on his sick bed and his wife, you know, we can see it here. Uh, on Instagram, we can just check Mr. Ibo. And then, 
Now, we recall that Mr. Ibu reacted to the news that his adopted daughter, to Jasmine, was marrying the man she met on TikTok. He said he has no objections to the new development because he has been looking forward to Jasmine's marriage. According to Mr. Ibu, he said, she's not my biological daughter, but I trained her. She calls me daddy, not Zadio, daddy, <laughs> and I call her daughter. I'm okay with it. I getting married. I have been praying for them and I will keep on doing that. Man and woman got to know each other one day. It's a gradual process. However, I don't want to see it. Yes. That was in an interview with Punch newspaper. But now he said, okay, oh, person we act, we act in social media accounts. <laughs> I'm uh, say the person that uh, na, na Nollywood actor. He wrote, this is to let everyone know that we have catfished the person that act Mr. Ebu's verified Instagram account. He was arrested yesterday and the case is still in the police station. He confessed to the crime and investigation is still ongoing. It's so saddening to know that he was one of the colleagues in the Nollywood industry. His motives, though, are still yet to be known. Revealing his identity depends on how far the extent of the damages that he was using the account to do was. Please help us let the general public know that they can stop reporting the account now as it had been restored to us, thanks. Nollywood John Okafor, popularly known as Mr. Ebo, has finally recovered the social media account. You know, this was coming, this is coming after six months. Man, his verified account were hacked by a known person who they are finally unmasked. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, Mr. Ibu went for that to ask fans if he should reveal the identity of the fellow that tampered with the social media platforms and also his email address. I better go reveal, reveal and make we know him. He wrote, should we reveal his identity or temper justice with as he has been begging for forgiveness since yesterday? Note, he also hacked my Facebook and the email I use in receiving notifications from back. He's only begging that we cover his identity because he said it will jeopardize his career in the Nollywood industry. Please, what do you all suggest we do in this regard? Keep sharing until it gets to the appropriate news agencies. I beg you. I can I mention the name, Jari? Who the name help? So you now you know. I beg Jari. All right, my name is KNG, the king himself, and you're on to DGG, Daily Gist Galo, showing on Olubori TV every day between the hours of 11 a.m. in the morning and 11 p.m. in the noon. Enjoy your day. Enjoy the rest of your evening. God bless you. Yeah, you can also visit www.oluboritv.com for more entertainment. God bless you. I love you so much.